now we are going to discuss the second topic hcf so in hcf we have already discussed about the factor because factor play a very important role okay and what is the factor if there is a four is the number so factor is 1 2 and 4 so this four is divisible with 1 4 is divisible with 2 and 4 is divisible with 4 so all these numbers are called as factor of four and what is the full form of hcf factor and this is the common and this is the highest so highest common factor so first we are going to find the factor and whatever the highest value is that will be the hcf there is a two method of find the hcf the first method is find via all factors we will going to calculate the whole factor and then we will find the hcf and the second method is via division both method method is easy i'm going to discuss one by one okay so first look at this question find the hcf of 12 and 44 the small numbers 12 and 44 we can find the hcf very easily wow because we know the factor of 12 what is the factor of 12 can you tell me the number which going to divide the 12 so 1 is divide divide 2 is divide 3 will divide 4 will divide 6 will divide and 12 will divide so all these numbers are the factor of 12. 12 now what is the factor of 44 this is again a very big number means even number and you will find lot of factors so 1 2 4 11 22 and 44 now we have to find the only two numbers we are going to focus only in this two number later we will discuss the it is exact so because we have to find the hcf this time this is not lcm in hcf we will take greater value of the factor so now tell me what is the this is common this is common this is not common but 4 is common again any, anything common no so now there is a three value one 2 and 4 are common to 12 and 44 but what is the maximum value 4 so what is the hcf of this number 4 hcf in this way you can find the hcf of any 2 3 or 4 digit number now if i am going to include 86 as well 36 sorry this is 36 so what is the factor 1 2 3 4 6 9 12 all these are the factor and now in this case as well only 4 is the number which is common to all these Value that having a maximum factor. So the answer in this case is again four only. Clear? Now solve one question. Solve this question. Twelve and forty-four. Find the HCF of twelve and forty-four. Everyone using the all factor method, not division method. Using all factor. What is the answer? Sir four. Look at this. i am going to write down the factor of 12 1 2 3 4 6 first choose the factor carefully if you are going to miss the any number then you will make a wrong answer 44 so now in 44 one 4 11 2 4 11 22 22 44 now common is 4 there are multiple common numbers but out of this three four is the Okay. Highest common factor. Get it? Now there is a second method of LCM. As I told you, the find method all factor. Now we are going to discuss via division. We are going to find fourteen, forty-nine, and eighty-four. Okay. So what we are going to do? We will going to check make fourteen. We will going to start with fourteen and next greater value that is fourteen. So divide forty-nine with fourteen. But this division is little different. So this is 49. I am dividing three times, so 42. Seven is the remainder. But I am not going to take decimal here. Actually, this 14, which is the dividend, will come to become a. It will become divisor will become a dividend now. Okay. Now seven two times 14. So this number is the number which I am going to add into the next divisor. Okay. And next dividend is 84. So 84 is here. We are going to write down one times seven 14. Two times fourteen again cancel it out. So seven is the number which divides this one, this one, this one. So this is the highest common factor. So SCF is what seven. What is the SCF? Seven. Now find the SCF of this three, uh, not three number. I'm going to give you the different number. Find the SCF of twenty-four, forty-two, and seventy-six. Tell me the answer. Two, two. Okay. Twenty-four is the number which is the smallest. So I'm writing here. And forty-four, forty-two is the number which I am writing here. One times six. Twenty-four. Oh, sorry, sir, this so, is the 
Yes, I'm going to do the division method, right? So this is 18. Now what we are going to do? 18 will come here and 24 is here now, this 24. So one time again, 18, six. Now 18 is here. This number is now dividend. Three times, cancel, cancel. Now this six will going to divide this 70. So six is here, 76 is here. How many times? One time, six, one, 16. Can you divide this? Yes, six, two, two times, tell me, 12 minus four. Now this is six, this six, because we can't do anything now. So we are not going to take this number. We will make it a division and six is the dividend. One time, two, four, two times four. So this is the reason this two is our FCF. Whatever the last value is, whatever the last divisor is, that is actually your HCF. So yes. what is the HCF of this number? Two. Let's start with more example. Write it down. This is your homework, everyone. Sir, I didn't do. Now we are going to understand HCF of fraction. Like we did LCM of fraction. That is also sir. called as question, yes. Sir, sir. Uh, I didn't see the second page of the homework. Second page. No, I didn't tell you that for you know. Ah, okay. SCF of fraction, we are going to discuss. Okay. And how we are going to find the SCF. Very easy. Like we did in LCM of fraction, what we did? Numerator LCM or denominator HCF. Here we are going to do the opposite of that. Like first we are going to find the HCF of this number and LCM of this number. Simple. So now tell me what is the HCF of 369? Three. Because three is going to divide each number, right? So three is the HCF. And what is the LCM of 5, 11, 20? 5 is going to divide 20 with 4 times, so 4 into 11 is 44. I am counting it very high, very fastly, but I am just explaining you how you can find the SCF of all these numbers. So first you have to find the SCF of numerator and LCM of denominator. We are going to solve the question, don't worry. Look at this. 4, 2, 6. What we are going to find? Here you have to find the HCF. So now tell me the SCF. 2 upon 75, 2 upon 75 is the answer. Give me the answer of first question and solve the remaining question. 2 upon 72, everybody got the same answer. Now the last and but very important and very interesting as well. How to calculate LCM and FCF for decimal numbers, okay? So first we are going to understand the LCM. Very easy, just look at it. You just have to place the value uh, carefully and then you can do it very easy. So in this question, find the LCM and FCF. You can see that there is a number 63, but before that we have a decimal. Here also we have a decimal number, but before decimal there is a number. And here you can see there is only one number after decimal. What we have to do? We will going to make an arrangement of this number like that. So each number having a same decimal value or same numbers before and after the decimal. That is the only arrangement we have to do. So now look at this. After decimal, there is one value. After decimal, there is a one value. After decimal, there is a no value. So I'm going to put zero and six, three. Now, after decimal, there is a two value. After decimal, there is a two value. After decimal, there is a one value. So I'm putting zero. So look at this, this zero. So now every value have a same, at the same place, right? Before decimal, there is one value. After decimal, two value. Before decimal, one value. After decimal, two value. Before decimal, one value. After decimal, two. Right? In that, in that way, we can arrange it. Now, I'm going to remove the decimal. So what is the number will become? 63. This 0 0.63 will become a 63. 105, it will become 105. And now 210 will become 210. Now, we are going to find the LCM of all the numbers. So mm -hmm. you can find the LCM or whatever the number you will get. So we got 2846, okay? After multiplying of all these value, you will get 2846. So now what we are going to do? Because after two number, we have a decimal. In every number, after two number, I am putting after two number, decimal. And this is the answer. How we can find the HCF of the same number? Same, nothing different. Do the same placement of the decimals. And now you have a 63, 105, and 210, right? So what you have to do? 
you have to de decide the first number that is the smallest value and this will going to divide 105 look at this 63 will going to divide 105 105 will going to divide with 63 one time 42 and now this will become a dividend 63 and 42 will divide one time so this is 21 and 21 will going to divide two times that is 42 so now this 21 will going to deal with 210 so obviously it will going to uh, divide 10 times so answer the final answer is 21 so hcf is what hcf is 21 but because after number two number we have a decimal value so i'm going to put decimal after two digits so answer final answer is 0 0.21 and this number is the hcf of this number 63105 all these numbers get it so yes. only important thing is how to do how to end the numbers before and after the decimal write it down these are the homeworks everyone write it down